we welcome the Republican nominee, President Trump, and the Democratic nominee, Vice President Biden. I beat Bernie Sanders. Not by I'm, much. I, I beat him a whole hell of a lot. I'm here, I'm here standing facing Pocahontas you, Pocahontas Pocahontas would have left well, two days early. You, you would have lost every primary All he knows how to do Super is hurt. Tuesday. You got Look, very lucky. Look, here's the deal. I got very lucky. I'm going to get very lucky tonight as well. And tonight I'm going to make what? sure because here's the deal. Here's the deal. The fact is that everything he's saying so far is simply a lie. I'm not here to call out his lies. Everybody knows he's a liar. But you I agree. just want to hey, make sure. Joe, you're the liar. I, 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 I want to make sure. You graduated last in your class, I, not I, first in your I, class. I, <laughs> I want to make Mr. sure. Mr. President, can you let him finish, sir? No, he doesn't know how yeah. to do that. He has, You'd you know, be surprised. You, you picked You'd be surprised. the Go wrong ahead, guy, the wrong oh, night oh. at the wrong time. Listen, you agreed with Here's Bernie Sanders to the manifesto. The whole idea, let, let him, there oh. is no manifesto, number Please one. Please let him speak, Mr. Number President. Number two. You just lost the left. Number two. I, I, you just lost the left. You agreed with Bernie Sanders on a plan how, that's folks, absolutely folks, agreed to. Folks, do you have any idea what this clown's doing? They call it Mr. Medicare, you Mr. Have Mr. President. Socialized you have any do? Socialized medicine. Mr. President. Let people know. He doesn't You're want to a senator. I'm not going to answer the question. Why because, would you answer that because question? Because the you question is, the question Supreme is, Court justice, the radical question, left. Would you who shut is up, your, man? Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This Who's is on your so list? right. Gentlemen, this is, I think this we've is ended so this. He's going to pack the court. We have end, no, no, not no. Give a list. We have ended this segment. We're going to move on. A lot of people died, and a lot more are going to die unless he gets a lot smarter, a lot quicker. So, Mr. Mr. President? Did you use the word smart? Uh, so you said you went to Delaware State, but you forgot the name of your college. You didn't <laughs> go to so. Delaware State. You graduated either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Don't ever use that word. Oh, give me a break. Because you know what? There's nothing smart about you, Joe. 47 years, you've done nothing. Well, let's have this debate. And if we'll you would have had, smart. let me just tell you something, Joe. No, if you would have had the charge of what I was put through, I had to close the greatest economy in the history of our country. And by the way, now it's being built again. You see, and it's going to get up to the fast. economy in the next segment, sir. Okay. Oh, Mr. President, Go ahead. I'm asking you a question. Will you tell us how much you paid in federal income taxes? in 2016 and 2017. Millions of dollars. You paid millions of dollars? Millions in, of dollars, So yes. not seven hundred Millions of dollars, and you'll get to see I, it. He says he's smart because he can take advantage of the tax code. And he does take advantage of the tax code. That's why I'm going to eliminate the Trump tax cuts. And but why didn't you do it over 20, uh, no, the no, last no, no, 25 wait, years? No, because you are why president, you do it over because the you last aren't president screwing no, no, things no, no. up. You were a senator. And You're the, the worst way, you president vice, America has ever had. Hey, Come on. Let me just tell you, Joe, I've done more in in 47 months, I've done more than you've done in 47 years, Joe. Will you urge your supporters to stay calm during this extended period, not to engage in any civil unrest? And will you pledge tonight that you will not declare victory until the election has been independently certified? President Trump, I'm you go first. I'm urging my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully, because that's what has to happen. I am urging them to do it. As you know, today there was a big problem. In Philadelphia, they went in to watch. They were called poll watchers, a very safe, very nice thing. They were thrown out. They weren't allowed to watch. You know why? Because bad things happen in Philadelphia, bad things. And Are I you? am urging, I am urging my people. I hope it's going to be a fair election. If it's a fair You're election, what? I am 100% on board. But if I see tens of thousands of ballots being manipulated, I can't go along with that. And I'll tell and what, you what, what does that from mean, a common sense, I'll you're tell, tell you what it means. To take to it means you have a fraudulent election. You're and sending you out 80 do? million ballots. They're not, they're not equipped. To, these people aren't equipped to handle it, number one. Number two, okay. they cheat. They cheat. Hey, they found ballots in a waste paper basket three sure. days ago, and they all had the name right. military ballots. They were military. They all had the name Trump on them. Uh, Vice President you think Biden, that's good? Uh, Vice President Biden, final question for you. Will you urge your supporters to stay calm while the vote is counted? And will you pledge not to declare victory until the election is independently certified? Yes. And here's the deal. They count the ballots, as you pointed out. Some of these ballots in some states can't even be opened until Election Day. And if there's thousands of ballots, it's going to take time to do it. And by the way, our military, 
they've been voting by ballots for since at the end of the Civil War, in effect. In effect. And that's and that's what's happened going to happen. Why was it not? Why is it for them somehow not fraudulent? It's the same process. It's honest. No one has established at all that there is fraud related to mail in ballots. Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to specifically do, that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, you you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right boys. Who would you like me to condemn? White supremacists and right boys. Proud boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem. His this is a left-wing problem. This is a left-wing no, problem. Ahead, white supremacist. Antifa's an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it, Not malicious. That's what oh, his right. it's an FBI, idea. his okay. FBI director Gentlemen, said. Well, thank you, and good night. Thank you.